What's up, fam? This is Pastor Aaron coming once again with a little bit of a pastoral encouragement. Let me remind you of why I'm doing these. Well, because of the distance that we're experiencing, this is my attempt to kind of bridge that distance because I I don't know how to do ministry from far away from you. We've been so close and we're family. And so this is an attempt through this screen because you know me, you know my voice to encourage you. It was so good for those of you who were ever able to make it on Sunday, 630 in the morning. You're saying, why would anybody get up that early? Well, we did to gather, to sing, to preach, to be together outdoors, wearing masks, some ribbons that said you can hug me or can't hug me or whatever it was. (laughs) It was good. I'm telling you, I got emotional. And when I saw all of you there, I saw myself. I said, there, there I am. Sometimes I could start to feel lost, but when I see my family, I, I can see people who love me, even though they know I'm different and people who have done life with me know my heart, not constantly questioning things or, you know, intentions. I'm thankful, very thankful to be in this community. So thank you for those who came out and those who are at the place where they're saying, man, I can't do it yet. Don't feel the the release or I have medical conditions or age or restrictions. And I I just say, we're going to continue to do what we can to make it so clear Go to the live stream so we can gather in this way. Here's what I want to encourage you with. And this is for you to kind of wrestle with with God in your time of meditation. And I pray this stirs you up to go and meditate. Scripture says this. It says that if we walk according to the Spirit, we will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Now, I know there are so many things that we can be doing that invoke reactions from our flesh that we want to react in this way or we want to live in this way. But right now, what we're seeing is living by our reactions or even just living by our own strength and flesh is not going to work. It it never did, but now we know it's not going to work. And when everything was going smooth, we thought we had this thing down. Now it's everything's collapsing and we're going, how can I do this? And, and we get this question a lot from y'all. How do we do this? What do we do? What's right? How do I do this? Give me some practical help on the ways that these things need to be done. And as a pastor, it puts it in a weird spot because I want to help, but I also don't want to give you answers as if I know how everything should be done. What I really want from you is to press into a deeper revelation and relationship with the person and work of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to figure this stuff out on your own. You have been given a helper, the Spirit. Not only to just counsel you, but actually to empower you to live in these times. With everything so polarized, we start going, how do I do it? How can I be full of grace and truth? How can I even live in such a way where uh, I, I know how to do all these things? And what about justice? And what about what about uh, this video? And what about all these things? That are, how, how do I live in this time? And we're constantly feeling like we've got to pick sides. But in the midst of that tension, God promises us, I'm going to give you my spirit. That's that's better news than him just giving you a set of laws because you couldn't do it even if he told you. You need help. And you have it. All that you need has been supplied to you by the spirit. He's poured it into us so generously. You need wisdom? Ask, and he gives it generously through the Spirit, by the Spirit. Joy comes from it, peace, life. It comes from the place of the Spirit. And we're going, how can I get peace? And we're trying to find it 
in our efforts and our striving rather than where it comes from, the spirit, the deep reservoir of the spirit. So my pastoral encouragement for us is to be who we are because of this new gospel identity. Be a people who are living by and from the spirit of Christ in us, the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. And that out of us, we would learn what it means to be fruitful. And so I want you to make space in your life, maybe right now or this week, to just go and invite the Spirit to go to the deepest places of our hearts. And this is might be why we haven't done it, because there's things in our hearts we don't want Him to show us. And not that He doesn't see it. We just don't want think he sees it and we don't want him to show us what's in us we want to think oh it's good it's all good no search me know me that's the prayer i want you to do and then be ready for him to speak because he's going to start uncovering things proclaiming your new identity in christ he may even be telling you people you need to serve and love and care for he may even be giving you things he wants you to do Church, I don't know how you live by the Spirit when you're just trying to grind and operate in the flesh. You've got to take time to make your heart and mind and your spirit from the depths aware of His Spirit, listening to His voice. And then know this, He's going to. He's going to lead and guide and move through you. It's good news. We're not alone. We have this helper, this great helper who's walking us through these times. So would you do that? Would you go make time with God in his word, by his spirit, daily, regularly? This is not a new law. It's not trying to say, better spend time with the Lord. No, this is go drink from the well. Be with him. Those who hunger and thirst, they're going to be filled. You're going to be filled. Love you, fam. Hopefully we'll see you this Sunday or online. Either way, if you need anything, let us know. God bless you.